Hey y'all. Um, I was just gonna vlog for a little bit since I'm in the car. Um, just got off work on the way to get my daughter, Ariana. Um, she stays with my mom through the week. And um, so it's about 30 minutes away or so. And so I just stuck in the car for that long. Um, but uh, it was a pretty okay day. Been at work, you know, since eight o'clock, normal, eight to five job. I work at a pool company. We do a lot of commercial work, so um, we're busy all year. Um, but so that's what I'm doing. Trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner. I don't know yet what we're gonna do. Um, I really want spaghetti, but my fiance doesn't like spaghetti, so hard to have that every once in a while like I want um but I don't know yet what we're doing but I do know that I am ready for fall I have dressed for fall for the last four days and I live in North Carolina and the weather here is iffy on what it's going to do but today it's 84 degrees according to my car um but it's a little humid and sticky outside that I have on <laughs> leggings and closed to wedges because I'm just ready for the summer to be over. Partly because of work, partly because I'm tired of the heat. But that's just how I feel. I really like fall. Fall's my favorite time of the year. So I'm gonna do a um, DIY coming up. Um, probably post it tomorrow because I think I'm going to do it tonight. Um, it's a farmhouse DIY. I have a column in that splits between our dining room and our living room. And I really want to make a welcome sign for it. So I went to Target and I had got um, a welcome banner and um, a plain wooden banner from their dollar spot section. And so I'm gonna take that and make the welcome sign. Um, and like I said before, my house is made into farmhouse decor. So i am got to get the rope though to make the welcome ban welcome sign um, out of the banners. And that's what I'm probably gonna work on tonight. So I really wanna hang it up and get that up at the front door. Because I really, I would really like a welcome sign, farmhouse sign, but I don't have anywhere for one of those since our whole floor plan is open floor concept. So I don't really have walls. Um, but that's what I'm going to work on tonight, I think, after dinner and after Ariana goes to bed. She has an early bedtime and she's four. So we start bedtime at eight o'clock after her bath and. So, once she's asleep, and she falls asleep fast, actually. So, she usually can be asleep around 8.40 at the latest after we always read three books and then she goes to bed. But, um, when she's asleep, then I have that extra time just to myself. Um, either to finish something at the house that I hadn't got finished, like if I hadn't finished laundry or something. Um, or if I need to clean the dishes after dinner or just me time. Like I can actually go and actually sit down and relax or craft or whatever I want to do. I'm kind of lucky in that way. Um, but sometimes I don't have to do laundry at home at the night because I have the luxury of my job's only 10 minutes away from home. So I can just go home and lunch and um, I can do anything at home for an hour just about and just be me and get it all done and not have any distractions. Well, I have a couple of distractions no matter where or who's home. And that's because we do have two dogs. We have um, two that are, one's Coda, he is a Pitbull Lab Mix and he's two. And then we have Bessie, which she's our newer dog, but she is one and a half and she is full pit. But they're like little kids too. But, um, and we have to keep an eye on Bessie right now because Bessie likes to leave the yard. We found a place in the fence where she was getting through to the neighbor's yard who has a fence, but she's going over there just visiting apparently. And so 
we didn't know it and I went to call her one night and she was in the neighbor's yard <laughs> and I had to hurry up hop in the car with Ariana and we went around to the opposite street the first street coming in our neighborhood I had to go to the front door and be like hey I'm your neighbor in the backyard uh, she's like oh yeah I know who you are she said and I said my dog's in your backyard she didn't even know it. her dog was out there they were apparently were just having fun hanging out together so I get her go home and then she gets out another time um, by another spot after we fix that spot in the fence she apparently finds another spot in the fence on the ground this time that she can fit under the fence so she gets over there this time and I didn't even know it she was just outside apparently hanging out with the other dog in the backyard and um, the neighbor comes to the front door this time it was her husband comes to the front door with her on the leash and says she was in her backyard it's like nice didn't even know it I was sitting on the couch watching TV <laughs> And uh, so, fix that spot now. Put a bunch of rocks there. Kind of put a small board up to some other spots we think might be um, needing to be fixed. So, but luckily they have a fenced in yard too. They have a dog, so it was no big deal. They were cool about it. But, yeah, Bessie and her little butt, I swear, she's been interesting to have because Coda. He's really laid back. Cody, you don't have to do anything with him. He doesn't like to leave and go nowhere. Like, he likes his space that he's in, and he is stuck forever. But he, that spot apparently has been there since we moved in, and we moved in in January. That spot has been in that side of the fence, and not once has he noticed that he wanted to go to the neighbor's yard. Like, he literally, when he is home, he's home. Like, he don't go nowhere. He knows he has it good. <laughs> but Bessie, nope. She wants to explore and see other places, apparently. Twice now. Hopefully that doesn't happen again, but... Um, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. The more I think about it, it's just freaking hilarious that she is the way she is. And then Coda's this other dog. Like Coda's also the one that doesn't like to drink clean water. He'd rather drink out of our pond in the backyard instead of actually clean water inside and the only reason why he has started drinking clean water inside which he has which is great i absolutely love it is because we put that leaf net which i have a review on the channel for that over the pond and so he can't get to the water with that net being there and so i think i pissed him off but <laughs> but he's come in now for two days and has been drinking clean water because he can't get the dirty water which I don't understand. I'd rather have clean water, but that's just me. But he is a dog. I guess, I mean, some dogs do drink out of the toilet. Luckily, he doesn't do that, which is surprising to me considering he does like dirty water better than clean water. But yeah, they're like little children. They are our children. I have a little chalkboard in the kitchen that says um, our name on it, and it has everybody's name on it or whatever, and it's decorative, and because like I said before, our house is done in farmhouse decor. So I have like a nice little chalkboard sitting on our counter with our names on it um, for the family. And now Bessie's name is on it. And she also, speaking of Bessie, she also waddles like a cow when she walks. It is freaking hilarious, by the way. Never seen a dog move as slow as she does when you call her. And she waddles. I'm like could you not run any faster could you be any slower when you come into the door but yes yeah, she waddles but anyways off topic but um but yeah so the chalkboard's in the kitchen but it has all of our names on it because they are our children like it's funny because coda's got a shirt that is blue and yellow that we bought because bud well his we call him bud which is my fiance um he it's really funny because he bought this shirt because it has two beer glasses clinking together on it and it says drinking buddy because he loves that dog so much which we got that shirt before we got Bessie but I want to get them some Halloween costumes Ariana wants to be um, the Disney princess of Rapunzel so because the girl loves purple like I said before, in the last video she absolutely freaking loves purple everything purple is better for her but, um, 
I want to get them some Halloween costumes with Ariana so that we can, when we're going around trick-or-treating in the neighborhood or whatever, we can take them too. I think that would be really cute. And so I want to get like, I think it'd be really cute for like Bessie to be Wonder Woman considering she is somehow getting over to the other people's yard randomly and then we have to figure out how because she can figure it out. That's one, that's crazy me. But at first I thought she was flying, which I mean kind of goes along with Wonder Woman. Like, or is that Supergirl? That's Supergirl, not Wonder Woman. But, um, but no, I just think it'd be really cute to have, give them some Halloween costumes to make them kind of feel, you know, part of the family. Um, so, but yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and chat for a little bit. Um, kind of not be bored in the car. Because usually my rides are extremely boring in the car. And, I mean, it's nice to be able to babble to somebody else. <laughs> I guess you can call my talking as babbling, but, uh, yeah, so, I don't know what we're going to do tonight, but if I get a chance, I'll vlog some more before I post this video and put them together, but if not, um, I'll go ahead and just post this, but, um, anyways, thanks for anybody who watched. <laughs> if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. You know where it's at. It's the big red button down below. Um, so I will talk to y'all later. Um, but anyway, stay bright. Bye. All right. Well, I just got Ariana. Um, she is in the back seat. Say hey, Ariana. Hey. <laughs> um, we are on the way home. We got about 15 more minutes to go before we get home still haven't figured out what we're gonna do for dinner she ate as she always does because my mom and my sister always make sure she eats dinner so a lot of times she doesn't eat unless she claims she's hungry which she does eat a lot um <laughs> to be so little somebody back there can eat a lot of food huh can you eat a lot yeah yeah so she eats probably more than i do sometimes um, but, so, like I said, I just don't know what I'm going to eat for dinner at me and my fiance, her dad, but she's already ate. She had a grilled cheese for dinner. Of course, that's one of her favorite things besides she actually likes a lot of fruit and vegetables. So, yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Um, but other than that. I don't have anything else much to say, but I thought I'd come back on here for a minute since we're stuck in the car. It is about 8.15 right now. We just now decided what we're doing for dinner. I'm um, sorry, my hand was in front of the camera. Um, we just now got Chipotle ordered. Luckily in our area, we have a lot of restaurants that will deliver by like Grubhub and by... Um, um, like DoorDash and Uber Eats. So they will deliver to us. But um, I am recording on the VOD. Huh? And there is Coda and Bessie out there playing. <laughs> and Ariana riding her tricycle in the house. <laughs> the way that the living room is set up that we can let her ride around in the living room. I put my curtains up way too high, so I have to bring them down a little bit. So I just need to do that edge. Oh, and our food's here. Hey, so we just finished dinner. Um, so we are getting ready to um, go to bed. It is about nine o'clock. Well, Ariana's bed's at eight o'clock, but she's late going to bed because of dinner. So once we get this done, she's finishing Hotel Transylvania three. Um, but once that is done, then we're going to bed. So got to read her three books, which is her bed routine. But I will see you guys in the next vlog. But I hope y'all have a wonderful night and. Stay bright until the end.